but I like teaching. And I tell them, choose something you like and do it, and do it well. NASA mathematician, physicist, and space scientist Dr. Katherine G. Johnson broke racial and gender barriers working for NASA's space programs and became known as the human computer. In the 1930s, it was unheard of for an 18-year-old African-American woman to graduate from college. Dr. Johnson graduated summa cum laude from West Virginia State College and was prepared to become a research mathematician. Instead, she became a teacher, which was the only field open to her until the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics expanded its pool of employees to include African Americans. Dr. Johnson calculated orbits and trajectories of the early space travel, including Alan Shepard's first flights to and from the moon. Astronaut John Glenn requested that she personally recheck the calculations made by the new electronic computers before he became the first American to orbit the Earth. Well, it's amazing what, uh, when they started going into the space, how much of it depended purely on the man. And they saw how important it was enjoy doing what I really love. And the harder it was, the better I liked it. Dr. Johnson continued to work at NASA until 1986, combining her math talent with electronic computer skills. Her calculations proved critical to the success of the Apollo moon landing program and the start of the space shuttle program. She retired after 33 years with NASA. Phoebus High School graduate Margot Lee Shetterly published a book highlighting Dr. Johnson's life and work achievements. The book, Hidden Figures, has been made into a 2016 movie by the same name. The film is not only based on her life, but the lives of other NACA human computers. Dossilis, tetrahedron. I have never seen a mind like the one your daughter has. You have to see what she becomes. 2015 was a busy year for Dr. Johnson, who received numerous accolades highlighting her greatest achievements. President Obama honored her with the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the nation's highest civilian honor. The city of Hampton awarded Dr. Johnson with Hampton's Distinguished Citizen Medal for her extraordinary service. The award is Hampton's version of a key to the city. It has been given about two dozen times. NASA dedicated a research facility named after Dr. Johnson at the NASA Langley Research Center. Naming the facility after her will continue to inspire current and future NASA engineers and scientists. More than 200 men, women, and children gathered at Hampton's Carousel Park to celebrate the accomplishments of Katherine Johnson. Mayor Donnie Tuck, City Manager Mary Bunting, Members of the city council and others were on hand as a special marker and bench honoring Johnson were unveiled. Thank you very, very much for the awards. It's a pleasure to be thought of at all, but to be thanked publicly makes it special. So thank you again and again and again.